Okay, here we've got a Namo Nama 17 motor and a Chinese controller. Um, and I'm running it from an Arduino, just a standard R3 Arduino. Um, so I'm just gonna, uh, I'm running the, the the controller from around on around 13 volts, and it's using about half an amp, 600 milliamps at the peak and the sort of idle is going down to 200 milliamps. So um, I've got um, these pin, these these wires I'm using, uh, this is DC in, so DC plus is 13 volts coming in, DC negative. I'm not grounding over to the Arduino because presumably it's getting its ground shared common ground through through here for the power supply. This is just showing you the ramp. So it ramps up, ramps down to very, very slowly. So I'm building a track slider for a camera, so I need it to be pretty pretty precise. The serial number on the motor is here, in case I don't know you have the same one. Um, so uh, if you can see, oh, there's some glare here. Um, B minus, I've got wired to the yellow on the motor. B plus, the blue. A plus, the green. Sorry, A minus, the green. And A plus, the red. So um, this seems to be the new color code, the new white colors on the new NEMA cheap Chinese motor. The yellow used to be a black, and I'm not sure the wiring was the same for the coils. I've set the jumpers to 1.8 amps on this controller, and um, this one I set to 1 8 off on off, and I think that's to do with the number of steps in the motor. I don't know, but it seems to work smoothest on that setting. Um, I have pin 8, 9, 10, 11 used on the Arduino. I've got 8 connected to... Um, Eight connected to pull plus, nine connected to pull minus, ten connected to uh, duration plus, direction plus, and eleven connected di to direction minus. I've tried them different di other um, combinations, you know, black and orange switch round, and yellow and grey, and it, it seems to work. Um, with the library I'm using, and I'll show you that uh, now. The stepper dot H included. Um, this this library just seems to come with Arduino. I didn't download it or anything. Mm. So, drinking my coffee here. Um, so I've got um, the steps per revolution set to 200, since this motor I'm using has 200 steps, like pretty common on most stepper motors I've found, or I've seen online. Um, the stepper steps for revolution. My this initializes the stepper on pins eight, nine, ten, and eleven, which I showed you before. Connected up to the controller. Um, I've set um, in this code. I've got ten ramp up, ramp downs. Um, this is the where you can set the amount here. Um, these are just the variables I'm using for the ramping and so forth. Um, okay, in the, the void setup, it's not great programming this, but um, sorry, the void loop. I just have if go for it equals one, then run the function, move it, which is where most of my code is, or else do nothing. Now, do nothing is just a while loop, so it does literally that, nothing. So it, if if go for it equals one, then run move it function, which is void move it here. And I've got a for loop um, set up, and if um, if uh, i is greater than the top speed set up up here, so top speed is three thousand two hundred one. If it's greater, then switch the direction of the motor and make x minus one. So, um, and the same when it reaches the bottom speed, 
um, you know, if i is is um, less than or equal to the bottom speed, then switch the direction of the motor to plus one, which is forward. Um, then there's kind of like some, you know, incremental uh, adding here just to for the loops, the amount of times that it does this. Um, so um, this sets the speed of the motor um, and the direction, etc. And um, this set, this part of the code here just does the, the loops, you know, the amount of times it ramps forward and back and so on. And then when it's done that, if actual truck num track number is greater or equal to the track number, which you've set presumably here. So if you want it to ramp up and down just one, just put one there or two for two. And then when it actual track number reaches the track number you've set, uh, then it will just bail on this go for it, um, sorry, move it, void, um, go for it equals zero, and return to the main void, um, the main loop, where it, it says if go for it equals one, then do nothing, and just finish. Okay, that's the code. Um, any questions, just put them in the comments.